How long have things lasted forever? How has it changed? There will be nothing left at the bottom, but perhaps it is just as well, since it wasn't a town anyway. Up in the bottom live two girls who grew up to become women, two friends who become something worse than enemies. The water darkened and closed quickly over the place where Chicken Little sank. They expected him to come back up laughing. Both girls stared at the water. Plum, plum, he's burning, Mama. Is my baby burning? Inside, she remained convinced that Sula had watched Hannah burn, not because she was paralyzed, but because she was interested. As the years go by, their paths diverge, and each must make a decision. Do they want to live a life of conformity and accommodation? Or do they want to risk the reputation and the love of the community in order to fulfill dreams of independence? They must face a world full of anger and spite and choose for themselves which is worse, living in a stagnant world or one filled with constant change. You've been gone too long, Zula. Not too long, but maybe too far. I was good to you, Zula. Why don't that matter? It matters now, but only to you, not to anybody else. Being good to somebody is just like being mean to somebody. Risky. You don't get nothing for it. We were friends. Once the source of their personal misfortune was identified, they had leave to protect and love one another. In each of us, two natures are at war, the good and the evil. All our lives, the fight goes on between them, and one of them must conquer. But in our own hands lies the power to choose. What we want most to be, we are. Thank you.